you know, Sam, <coughs> we will speculate, but let me begin first by saying this issue <coughs> of uh, unity uh, being uh, now peddled by the Kenya Kwanza regime. Uh, for me, I, like I said earlier, it's a, a smoke screen because if you remember, uh, none other than the leader of Kenya Kwanza came up with a divisive, very divisive um, uh, policy just before the last election, and he talked about hustlers versus dynasties. That was not un uniting Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Later on, when uh, we had major issues with his finance bill in 2023, he said now it's a, it's a, it's a fight uh, of between those that have salaries and those that are unemployed. Again, another issue of division. The, the deputy himself has talked about shareholders and non-shareholders. They have never, ever attempted to unite Kenyans. But now, suddenly, we see the DP missing in action for about a week or so. Uh, he reappears and says he went on a fast in the mountain to reflect, I don't know on what. Now we are getting reports that he's being denied the use of uh, military and police choppers. So I, I guess the, the whole narrative, the whole issue is just about the difference between two individuals. But then again, uh, like you've asked, what is the difference? It, we, other than speculate, I'm not very sure why the DP would not be allowed to use a military chopper or, or a police chopper. But then I think, um, because they're being very vague, even, even, even in their narration. One says, I'm seeing darkness ahead. Uh, the, the president says, you know, those who are seeing darkness, let's pray against the darkness. But they're being vague. None of them is telling us what is really happening between the two. But in my opinion, uh, Sam, and I said this uh, some time back, yeah. when the president appeared in a function of women in Kenya, he said that uh, going forward, there is going to be need to make sure that if his party is going to, to change and say that if the president or the, lead, the person who's vying for presidency is male, the running mate is female. Mm. And even, even at the county level. And if, if the one running for the office is female, the, the running mate should be, should be male. He talked about it. And immediately after he said that and the women cheered him, he remembered that his deputy is male. So he quickly said, uh, well, that may be, we may need to talk to, to Rigiji and sort it out going into the future. But the, the reality is that he probably let the cut out of the bag, that maybe he's planning to replace uh, the deputy as a running mate in 2027. That could be, the, that could be the, 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 the real fight. So I think that's maybe what is happening. And then again, the, there's these elections for UD, and I remember there was a fight earlier on where there was an attempt to introduce uh, several positions of deputy party leader, yeah. so that the party leader leader is one, but the deputies are, are scroll, you know, spread across the country, like Moi did in Kanu. So I think that could also be maybe an attempt to weaken the, the position of the deputy party leader, who is in essence the deputy president. And maybe that could be the, could be the fight. But I think it's all political. It's about 2027 and beyond. Sam, it's got nothing to do with Kenyans uniting. It's got nothing to do with Kenyans getting prosperous. It has everything to do with people attempting to protect their positions. And the president, for your, ex for your information, when the deputy president said, uh, you know, this issue of, um, of shareholding, yeah. he actually was, was directly telling his boss that we contributed as a region more votes to Kenya Kwanzaa that you, than you did from your own region. I think that's a fight that's now taking, taking shape there. And so it's a, a political fight for 2027. So Kenyans have to be very, very careful as we wage into this war.